Hello everyone, this is Lion Craig and welcome to my War Thunder beginner tutorial. It's a simple little tutorial I felt to do because when I started to play this game just a little while ago, it was rather confusing and it took me some time to get into this. So I felt I and I didn't find any good tutorials on YouTube, so I felt to make one on my own. So here I am making a tutorial. And what is War Thunder? War Thunder is a it's a battle game, multi player game where you play against other players either with planes or tanks and how do you switch between them of course you're pressing us yes, the little arrows here and you get up these air arcade battles or tank arcade battles it's simple tank and airplanes you dash out have a good time battle on destroy your opponents or whatever your mission is and then you have realistic battles and these are way harder to play because this is more real, as they say, realistic. So an airplane can, you can, if you don't watch your speed, you can actually break your wings, etc., etc. So it, it's way more realistic and for more hardcore players for sure. Or those that want to give a good challenge, yes, and try it out. And yes, and when you have decided on which you will want to play on, you simply click to battle. Of course, you will get a different uh, tutorial. They, they are very nice and give you tutorials right away. As you can see here, I have tutorial for bomber. So I can just click on that and get into the tutorial of how to use a bomber plane. And the, it very, the controls are very easy, so I don't, I won't go into that because you just need to play the tutorial in game to understand that. And they show it so it's a very easy game to actually get into. So that's definitely helping and make it way easier than playing in certain games. When there are three types of currency in the game. The first one is convertible research points. Well actually there are four currency because uh, RP stands for research points as mentioned there and this convertible is helping you can convert them to uh, research points to speed up. Example to get a plane faster so you get to maybe boost up the research because you get the RP from every battle you do either it's tank or planes To use this, you simply have you need to use Golden Eagle because it, it, it it's a cost to convert it to RP to use for the boost. And you can see how if I use all the gold I have, Golden Eagles, I will get there in the research. But I won't do that now. But I will do it later on to show up. But you, as mentioned, you use it to boost up your research, make it faster. But it costs the golden eagle. And what is golden eagles? I will go through that in any moment. The second currency is the silver lion. You get the you get silver lions and the RP from uh, battles. Uh, depend on your performance, uh, hitting enemies, destroying them, assisting, doing different uh, objectives grants you points, both RP and silver lions. And silver lions is the main currency in the game. So that is something you get from each game, from each battle, and it helps you to improve and buy crews and improve that, give you items. So that is simply the money in the game. And the third and last but not least the currency is the Golden Eagles. This is premium currency. That is actually that you buy for real money, that that allow you to buy certain crops or buy certain boosts so that you can get more silver lions and such things like that or as I showed you before on the convertible research points that you can use the golden eagles to improve a faster boosting research faster getting to the items you need you can also see here to buy this plane for example the, the jack 1b you need thousand gold eagles or the Wellington, you need 1,150 golden eagles. So you can see I can't buy those. And of course, it's uh, they increase depending on how good they are. Now we're going to go through ranks. There are five different ranks of planes or and tanks. Everyone starts at, of course, rank 1. You can see here, there's vehicle rank 1. And here starts vehicle rank 2. You can see the markings. There is 2, 3... Four and five. This is actually to match up. If you have only level one planes, you will only meet level ones. You won't meet level fives. This is to make it fair 
for you and your opponents as well to meet up. And but if you have a cop, let's say let's say you have two level ones and three level two, you will need level two played because you have more points in level two than level one. So your level one planes will be much weaker than their level two planes. I have been in the battles like that, and it's a very big difference between level one and level two. And this is the same for army, as you can see. Level one, two, three, four, five. Different, and you can buy for gold and eagles as well. It's, it's the principle is exactly the same. Aviation is airplanes, of course, and uh, aviation is what I've been playing most. So that is why I have been uh, researching more here. When you're playing this game, you will get rewards. For each day you log in, you often get a chest with bonus items and things to improve. And when I started, I actually had a problem because I didn't know how to activate those items, those rewards. And I finally learned the hard way. It took a bit while, but I realized it's this little button. You have new item. This is your backpack. And here you have all the items you have received and can activate. By, and simply to activate them, you press that button. And it's a gold, and it's, it's a symbol that you have it active now. You can also see it there. I have, a, I have actually a premium ca account for five days. I brought that with this shop. And you buy golden eagles. And for improving, you buy four golden eagles. And that gives you 200% increase, increased RP. 150% lions for active action in random battles, 200% lions reward for battle time in the random battles, and 150% lions reward in other game modes. And this, of course, increases the chances of you to get more and more silver lions to faster reaching your upgrade and overall improving your planes. So, people, I know people will discuss that it's pay to win, but I'm considering it. It's just speed up things that you can get for free otherwise, so you don't actually need to buy anything because this game is otherwise free. We're gonna go through, there are five different sides in this. I have mainly played Axis, as you can see on my plane here. This is the Axis forces, and you can actually toggle through the different sides. We have United States, and here you can see that I can only have three planes. I actually, you need to buy more crew to have more planes available per game. Here I can have three, three planes per battle and if I want to buy another one I need to buy more crew. I'm gonna do that actually. See, cost 10,000 silver lions and there we go. And of course I need to research a new plane so I can fill that out. And I'm gonna do that with... let's research for that one. If I want, I can boost the research, but I won't do that at the moment. I'm gonna just click there. Yep. And now it's in research, so it will work. Every time I do a battle and get RP, it will increase. I need 4,000 RP, and depending how well you perform in the battles, you get more or less RP. And as well, I can go over to Axis. As you can see, I have bought more space, so I can actually have six planes. And it get it got, costs more and more and more for each crew you buy. Uh, the previous here cost 100 golden eagles. Now it costs 500. I assume it's going to increase to 1,000 golden eagles, of course. And as you can see, I have pumped in six different planes. I got the level 2 BF, BF, BF 109E1 fighter. I got this FW 190A1. And A4. Both are... Rank 2, and this bomber, though 217, J1, is also a number, rank 2. And this plane on the picture is rank 1, and this as well is rank 1. So, do I have so many planes on rank 2? As you can see here, there is a battle rate, rank 2 battle rating 3.3. The number is saying how, yeah, the higher rating, the better the plan is to have better performance, better abilities, of course, everything like that. And as you saw, you can actually click and to get to see the planes right here. And here is the that this is a very big plane, I say. 
it's a big bomber plane of course heavy bomber and we can go through checking the others as you see here we have China that is a bit shabby plane yes we have Britain they are very popular due to their they have their speed fires and all that it's a phenomenal plane and we have Japan so yeah we got uh, lots of it and I realize this is not the uh, China this is Russia of course I'm terrible sorry about that so that was a bit spelling I I imagine it was <laughs> Russian I mean Chinese gosh now I just uh, babbling on so sorry about that but yes that is the difference in all the planes we can switch over and of course have all the planes you want to maybe you just want bombers then you can fill out with different bomber planes but how do you switch a plane I'm gonna show you that you actually click here change vehicle it's easy as that and I'm gonna switch over and you see there's civil lines there that is the cost to buy in the, the crew for that plane so if I want that plane it's gonna cost me 600 civil lines to have it uh, get the crew for it but now I don't want it so I don't want to get there but there are, you have three reserve planes. This is the three first planes. I'm going to show you here on the British. This is the reserve planes. You always start with these three. They don't cost anything. No crew cost or anything to activate them again. So you can actually always get them. But uh, the better the planes are, the more the cost to activate and get the crew for it. Of course, it always is a cost to it. And I'm also going to show you the fancy way you can improve a plane's look and design. Because you can add cosmetics as you have seen on this plane. You're going to go in Customization. You're just, you're just hovering your mouse over there and Customizations. And you'll get up. I'm going to remove this. Yeah, there we go. Now this is an egg as a new bone baby. And as you see it, it yeah, it looks like that. So. I'm gonna add a decal. You get decals as you play the game. The more things you do, the better you can get, and the more new things you can achieve. And of course, some you can buy as well. And we have the Allies. We have oh, the Czechoslovakia Air Force Rumble. And uh, we have the Cadelli Lily pinup there. Yeah? We have inscription. It's text simply. Peanuts, pe Peppy. Of course, you have many different. You have world flags you can add, you can buy your own flag. We have the Swedish flag somewhere here, I know. My country. This is for tanks. You get only from tanks and all that. But you can use it. I have been playing tanks as well, so I got this. You can actually put it. I'm gonna do that. We can just take it for. As you see, you actually can move this around and place it wherever you want on the plane. Exit. But I'm gonna put it on the wing here. But uh, you, I think it's a bit too small. So I'm actually gonna press Alt. Uh, I mean Shift first, of course, for increasing the size and the mouse wheel. As you can see in the right corner, there is uh, pretty much describing Alt the mouse wheel for rotation, like this. I like that. Like an X and Shift mouse wheel for size. And you can also flip it if you want it to be on the other side. You can just flip. Now it doesn't change that much considering how it's uh, pretty much the same. And I'm gonna add. So that is how you basically make it, put out decals. And normally you can only have two, but since I have premium, I can actually have four decals on my plane. So you, you can put on pretty much any of the decals you have earned from the games. Because you can see here, we got the, the Estonia Air Force Rumble. Missions played. You need 270 missions. Battle against other players. Air vehicles Britain. To achieve that. For the Swedish one, you need uh, get battle against other players, air vehicles. It doesn't say which kind of air vehicle, so it can work with everyone. Because every vehicle and thing have a certain thing you need to achieve to receive it. That was a bit about the customization of your plane. There is also a crew on a plane. How do they affect anything? What do they do? And how do you improve them? 
I'm gonna go for that as well. I'm gonna take my FWW clear plane here, and we have crew. Let's click on that, and you get up. You have crew experience points. When you use a plane, you get experience points for a crew, and you can use these to level up certain abilities for your pilots or gunners. Now this this plane doesn't have a gunner on. This is only for bigger planes that have an extra gunner on. So this is not for this kind of plane. And every ability have different uh, improvement. The keen vision, this skill allows to increase the range of detection up to two times. So you can have a greater increase range of detection of enemy planes. You can see further away. G tolerance, uh, tolerance of positive and negative G forces. This is pretty much when you die very fast or turn very quick, the g-forces that is produced. Because the more g-forces your characters push through, the less and less does his aim become. This is, doesn't affect so much in arcade, but however, it does affect in realistic battle. So if you want to get, do, you do many twisty, twists and turns, and press, uh, pressure lots of g-force onto your character, you definitely need G, G tolerance. Stamina is simply the ability to how long you can spend flying, how much G force you can sustain, and uh, all such things. Simply his endurance to all that. The less he have, the less uh, he is able to withstand all that. And lots of battle. This is uh, how fast they they actually, if they get knocked out, they can actually get back up uh, unconscious, especially gunners and all that. As well, the ability to survive getting shot. If you have a very good in vitality, you can survive more shots. You can be un unlucky, one shot can kill you. You can take 10 shots and survive, both the plane and everything. So it's both luck and of course how much vitality you have. And to increase, you can either drag this, or press here. And you see the cost for each point to increase is 15. So for me to increase one point in metal it costs 50 now. But I don't want that. I want to increase the stamina. So I'm gonna go there. Oops. And if you want you can buy crew XP points from Golden Eagles. You see if you buy 1500, 100 golden but I want to I don't want to do that at the moment so and apply. No, I have increased the stamina on my on my crew on this plane and this is just for this plane you need to go through every plane to do that as you see they have different uh, training and all that so you simply do that what you feel like so I'm gonna add more points there nope. and apply and here you can see number of gunners this affects the gunners simply and uh, the more gunners you have the better you need to ex experience gunners and all that making them better when they are actually shooting at the enemies or you taking control of them. How does it work to add friends and have a battle with others? Well, that is rather simple actually. You press this little icon here. As you see, I have a couple of friends, but no one is online, so they, they, their icon is red. And when it's green, they are online. When it's yellow, they are in a battle. And you can even add friends from Facebook and Steam which is quite nice actually or invite friends or search for one uh, maybe you have a friend that is named Bula Bula or whatever its name is you search for it and add them you can send message, messages, invite to squad, remove of course and play card what is play card? that is actually information about uh, the character uh, Shadow Pound, that's my friend Urban Style he's level 4 he have uh, 4 American units Four Axis, five Russian, and six Japanese, and all that. Elite units, you have two Japanese, and no medals granted though. And you can see overall random information about the player. I think it's kind of big. I'm a, I'm a one that like uh, tables and things like that, so I actually check those now and then. So you can actually get the, you can actually check on your own. You see here I have the Axis, 13, 5 Elite Units, and 2 medals I have received. I'm the time play as a fighter is 6 hours and 8 minutes and so on you can actually see 
everything I have been through so far. So it's quite fun actually to check out how well you are. How many air targets I've destroyed. Death. I died 203 times apparently. Respawn 217 times. So yes, I die, I die a lot. Sorry for that. <laughs> you can see your achievements. Medals you received. I received two. Iron Cross, the second class. Honorable Clasp of the Luftwaffe. Luftwaffe. And you see what you get for it and what you need to do for receive the, those medals. To receive this, play is defeated. I need to defeat 2,000 2, players. Battle against other players. So simply, it's it's about defeating and shoot down 2,000 2, players. So that's quite a achievement. And of course, it's all for different country. Have different medals. And here's different skins you can actually buy for your planes. If you want to do that, so they look have a different color on the pa uh, paintings and all that. And that is not supposed to be confused with decals, because decals is just symbols and things you put on the plane over the, the painting, pretty much. But yeah, this is about the, the player cards. Going through a bit, realistic battles you have, simulators, I haven't done anything of those yet. But yes, so this is simply the, how the... We can even choose titles. I actually haven't done that yet, so I'm gonna... Ah, you see, you need to achieve certain things before you get the title. And some gonna take some time to reach, of course. So, I'm gonna earn, try to earn and get there someday. But this is uh, about all about the player cards for now. You can also see certain purchases, items you receive, etc. Things that have you received in some sort of way which you can find in new messages that little icon there and here you have everything that have to do with battles and economy achievements everything you have received and the timestamps of that you can go through battles victory in the ground strike i have earned the seal alliance rp battle activity damage vehicles because every time you do a battle and a plane is crash or damaged, it costs to repair it. Battle plane costs more to repair. And as well, refilling certain ammunitions. I'm gonna go through that as well. And this is the RP I received for researching. And you can scroll down to see more. I have some couple of defeats, victories, etc. Economics. What I actually have bought and repaired, etc. Achievements I received. Throwing a boomerang. And of course others you can see here. Crews, this is how I improved my crew. As you can see, this was what I was showing in this tutorial. Items are you received, simple as that. And nothing from the store if I'm buying the shop. But we're gonna go through as well. The last thing I'm gonna go through is as you can see, if you go down, I can't show it on the mouse though, but the max repair cost under the research point bonus is 1769 civil lions. That is to, if the plane, entire plane crash and it's totally broken, it's gonna cost that amount to repair it. Which uh, de de it depends on the plane and all that. Some planes are cheaper. This is way cheaper to repair than the other one, for example. So if you crash every plane here, it's gonna cost of the seal lines you receive from the battle. And if you don't have any seal lines, it won't repair the plane. That I assume. I haven't had any problem with that though, and I don't think anyone will actually have that at the moment. As you see, the 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 simply the worse the plane is, the cheaper it is to, to repair. Reserve planes are of course free to repair. So if you own in, doesn't have any seal lines, don't worry. The reserve planes. Those free here won't cost anything. As you can see, max repair cost is free. And also, and of course, you can see random uh, stats, max speed, alt max altitude, turn time, etc. This is simply how good the plane is and stats for that. But yes, this is from now for my War Thunder tutorial. It's a bit shaky and all that, but hopefully, it does help and someone out there and. If you want me to do more tutorials of this game or others, please write to me in the comment boxes below. 
as well, I might do more tutorials about in-game and certain things more about this. And if you have more questions about the game that maybe I missed, just ask and I'm try, gonna try to make either video or just simply answer you there. So thanks for watching and have a good day or good night or good evening and hopefully you can enjoy Warfinder and this tutorial. Thank you.